Hi guys at Ninbuzz and welcome to Pikmin Tips and Secrets. I'm your host, Flash Flare, and today we're going to be looking at seldom known secrets and how to make the hardest enemies seem like a piece of cake. So, why don't we get started? Blue Pikmin Lifeguards If you're walking along with a fair size of blue and red or yellow Pikmin, you know that walking into a puddle by accident can cause trouble. Next time, Pearl some blues in to help those Pikmin out. Blue Pikmin act as lifeguards, and if you're quick, you can save yourself some troops. Orange Blue Blorb Tips So you're about to walk around the corner, and then you're met with the menacing face of an Orange Blue Blorb. Fall back and switch your purple Pikmin to the front. And when you're ready, send one flying on through the air onto its back and crush the monster's bones before he knows what's happening. You can carry him back to ship for seven Pocos. And make it quick though, because you may have some unwanted visitors. Be sure to squash them before anything bad happens. How to take down the grub dogs. You've probably seen something like this before, and nobody wants it to happen. Instead of this approach, swarm them from the back, and hopefully they'll be out before they even know what hit them. Bugs hate water. Oh no! The bugs are hard at work on your bridge again. Distract them with a small group of Pikmin and get their attention off the bridge, and once they come into the water after you, let the Pikmin fly. You can do this as many times as you want without losing a single Pikmin. The King is the easiest by far. You might get scared just seeing those eyes, but have no fear. As long as you have a super spray or a few purples, the King is not a royal task. As soon as he bites the dust, you can get the wall down with having without having to worry about him slobbering on you. Use that C-Stick for faster throws. Enemies like Blowhogs have a lot of HP and can be a huge pain, and running around limits your throws. Try using the C-Stick to group your army around you, so that you'll always have a Pikmin ready at your back that should make his life bar drain into nothingness in no time. How to mash the frogs. Whether you're running after a part, taking down a wall, gathering Pikmin, or just wasting time, nobody wants to come face to face with a Wally log. If you happen to, though, use that rusty old sea stick to kill him as quickly as he lands. Be ready though. If he gets into the air, you'll need to call your Pikmin back quickly. Once he lands again, finish him off. Take some time off. In the first Pikmin game, you're going to have to come back for one of the parts in the impact site when you have yellow or blue Pikmin anyway. So why not stock up in numbers? There are lots of good places to do so on the old logs and behind the stone wall. So, after you've snatched the part, take your time collecting as many Pikmin as you want. Purple is the way to go. Blowhogs in the second game can be hard to deal with, but just ten simple purple Pikmin can take them down easy. Just hurl one to weigh them down, and then strike. The King of Rock? Elvis? Nope, it's Mamuta, and he loves flowers. He's got a fair amount of HP and takes a little bit to beat. If you have time though, you may want to pay him a visit because after pounding your Pikmin, instead of dying, they sprout into flowers. Having your Pikmin flowered allows them to run faster and do even more damage than before. Also, as you saw, keep your captain back a bit. He can get pounded into the ground too. After you kill him, ship him back to the Onion first class to get more Pikmin. The 
Ew, J9 can get sticky. After getting your Pikmin to think about something other than the beetle, you may come to see a large Gulix on the stump where you found your engine. He's pretty easy to beat, but make sure you have blue Pikmin, because he'll cloak the others in a water that can only be gotten off by a tweet of your whistle. Ouch. Take a free fly. On the map screen, if you fly your ship around the world fast enough, it will eventually fly off screen. You can try to get it to never come back, but just remember what you're on this planet for. Thanks for watching this episode of Pikmin Tips and Tricks. I'm Flashflare, and I'd appreciate it if you swung by my channel with the link on the screen, or subscribe if you like my Let's Plays. I'd also like to thank Ninbuzz for being my host, and you can subscribe to them if you haven't already above. Thanks again, and I hope to be back soon with more gaming goodness. See you then.